I've been hearing nothing but great things about Late Night with the Devil, and especially as being like a should have produced movie, I was definitely intrigued. Now, I've just got out of the 1.40 p.m. show and as I'm recording this video, and I can definitely say, I agree, this was great. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video. Now David Dasmalchian absolutely headlines this movie in his first kind of main leading role as far as I'm aware and it centers on a broadcast of 1977 called Night Owls that goes horribly wrong. And that's all I'm going to tell you guys because the teaser trailer for this was that was shown in cinemas was the only footage I saw and that was it. They maybe did do extended trailers but I didn't see those so it was nice and refreshing to have a trailer that didn't show you really anything at all. Now what I'm going to say is that this movie is going to be divisive. The reason why I say it's divisive especially if you are a horror fan is this is going to probably cater more to a specific set of audience. So for example I went into this early screener in terms of an early showing today. It was pretty full for a small screening because this isn't like a big set theatre. It maybe had about 50 to 70 seats. I would say half of them was full, which was pretty interesting. And the reception walking out of it was mixed. Now, the reason I say that is if you kind of like indie based cult kind of horror you're gonna absolutely dig this movie like me but if you love the horror in terms of jump scares gore slashes all that kind of stuff i think you'll find some enjoyment here but i don't think 100 it will be for you so let's get into some positives david dasmalchian as jack delroy this broadcast news tv presenter does a great job. I think he was just a great standout. He was a character that was semi-rootable for... I can't really say too much more than that. But either way, I think he kind of honed in on the part. He felt like a time and a presenter of the 70s time piece that this movie was wanting to sell you on as this is set in 1977. And for that, I think it showed that he did some studying you could tell he put his heart into the performance and you can tell that he has really been doing his homework to really craft the hosts of that time and the presentation style back in the 70s so i really enjoyed that aspect along with the accompanying cinematography and the ratio that this movie is shot in really captures and fits the timepiece really well you feel as if you are there in the 70s and i think that is done really well now this has also been a bit of a controversial opinion a lot of people have not liked the use of ai images which at the end of the movie i realized what the ai images were used and heck i'm gonna be honest i'm absolutely on board for it simply because yes is it the fact that it maybe take away from someone who you know could have produced that yeah absolutely but at the same time at least i can't comment on this but i don't know what this movie's film production was i don't know what this film's budget was for that matter and maybe they didn't have the budget in there or spare to hire someone to do the kind of graphic cards for being set in the 70s maybe they had to resort to ai i don't know either way i just took it for being a part of the movie and I actually really liked it. And I think it actually really fit in really well. It's really sold this idea of this TV broadcast. At least in my personal opinion. So I personally didn't have an issue with it whatsoever. The supporting cast is also great. Everyone does a really good and specific job. And that specific job that they do really just adds character development it also adds character specifics and also throws in something that little bit different i really liked it i thought it worked in the film's favor and helped to produce this tv broadcast as in like a night that you won't forget 
finally, the last positive I have is the ending and the whole backstory that is presented here. There's definitely clues alluded to earlier on and sprinkled throughout that you could pick up on and that alone you can take and maybe foreshadow a little bit as to how the ending will wrap up. But how it did wrap up, I also was a fan of and I was like, bravo, bravo. In terms of any negatives and then you're thinking, okay, well, Mike, you know, what was wrong with this movie? Why is it not a five star movie for you? Firstly, I personally feel like it's a movie I need to rewatch because although this is a short runtime, I feel like there's a lot to digest here in terms of maybe hidden messages, a little bit of that foreshadowing, as I mentioned previously, but also this is a unique movie. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this personally. I really like the uniqueness that was presented. And I think Colin and Cameron Cairns do a great job with Late Night with the Devil. But as I also explained before, this is going to be a horror movie. Not for everyone, but I definitely think it's a horror movie that should be supported and should be seen. So my overall score for Late Night with the Devil is a four out of five stars have you seen this movie are you gonna check it out let me know down below in the comment section so we could continue the discussion down there if you've enjoyed this review certainly give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below big thank you to all my awesome patrons who helped to really support the channel absolute legends really appreciate all of them and feel free to join patreon down below by clicking the link in the link tree but in the meantime if you've missed some of my content click over here and you can catch up on some of my videos or maybe check out more content you haven't seen and until the next time that i see you guys i'll be seeing you later